just in time. We're on in 10 seconds, honey. Don't you honey me, buster. <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing. Well, Linda. Stand by. What? Good evening, and welcome to Up to the Minute News with America's favorite anchor couple, the Mr. and Mrs. of TV newscasting, Steve and Linda Bradshaw. <laughs> From the mountains to the prairies, to the ocean white with foam, a gracious good evening. That a big uh, communication of a breakdown at the phone company is tonight's top story. A spokesperson for the company has stated, as soon as I find out what is causing our problem, I can better determine how to solve it. Linda? Thank you, Steve. I have no intention of discussing the matter at this time, stated Senate Investigator Ralph J. Spoonman. I will do whatever is necessary to see that the filthy liar gets what he deserves. <laughs> Storm warnings and an icy front. <laughs> and those sailing into choppy waters are advised to use extreme caution. Linda. Stick it in your ear. <laughs> Is this year's theme at the hearing aid manufacturers? <laughs> the convention is sponsoring free hearing tests to make the public more aware of all the things that have been going on behind their backs for much too long. <laughs> Back to you, Steve. In court today, immoral conduct charges against Councilman Peterson were dropped due to insufficient evidence <laughs> to support the accusations made. Back to you, Linda. Thank you, Steve. National Secretary Week has started, <laughs> and all over the nation, secretaries are being kept, hopping from luncheon <laughs> to dinner, <laughs> satisfied bosses shower them with gifts as a way of saying thanks for all those little extras they perform all year long. <laughs> Any comment on that, Steve? I always say there's nothing like a good secretary to keep a man's affairs in order. Yes, of course, it's his loving wife. Divorce rates are up 18% this year. This 5% increase over last year has been attributed to unfaithful middle-aged husbands who are insecure about their masculinity. Steve? I'm just as good as I ever was. <laughs> I'm just as good as I ever was, proclaimed 60-year-old Rocky Gravelano, ex-Olympic weightlifting champ. To celebrate his birthday, Gravelano pressed 650 pounds, proving that a man is as virile as he is allowed to be. <laughs> there was a lot of hot air around <laughs> when the annual upstate balloon races were held. The festivities got off to a hopeful start, but failed miserably when poor air circulation forced many to land due to loss of momentum. <laughs> the ball's in your court now, Steve. Psychologists at Northwestern University have determined that aggressive women who insist on competing for men's jobs <laughs> tend to suffer from an acute lack of femininity, grace, wit, and general loss of sex appeal. <laughs> it's all <about> yours, <laughs> A scandal that could ruin a career rocked Hollywood today as actress Buffy Starr announced that she was suing her longtime husband for divorce. Her hired detective uncovered a hot bed of information that could lay waste to an otherwise impeccable reputation. She was quoted as saying, I will stop at nothing to make sure he never works in this town again. <laughs> it's up to you, Steve. Guilty on all charges. It was the plea ended by Jack Taylor, city planner, indicted for conflict of interests today at City Hall. 
the truly remorseful Taylor threw himself on the mercy of the court, screaming, I swear I'll never do that again, Linda. Come home, darling. All is forgiven. Reads the message on a prominent billboard in the downtown area. He tracked down the man who ran the ad, and he offers a new mink coat and a diamond ring to his estranged wife as proof of his sincerity. <laughs> that really is hard to resist, Austin. All your demands will be met. Said management is the dock worker's strike was settled today. Well, Linda, that's all I've got. That concludes this evening's news. Please stay tuned later this evening when I'll be hosting for Housewives Only. Tonight's topic will be infidelity making his guilt your gain. <laughs> This is Steve. And Linda Bradshaw wishing you a triumphant good evening. <laughs>